As the budget month progresses, the civil society organizations have called on government to come up with a robust monetary policy system. This system is established by the central bank, which controls the money supply interest rate to meet macroeconomic goals, including inflation, consumption, growth, and liquidity. This was brought up at a high-level budget dialogue organized by Advocates Coalition for Development and Environment, which also urged government to consider climate financing in the awake of the Katonga Bridge scandal. For us to realize these opportunities, we must have a robust monetary policy system. This is something sometimes we take for granted. We, were glad that, we are glad that inflation continues to go down, our exchange rate is very stable, but also that our Bank of Uganda is being recapitalized because anybody thinking that the, our bank is a bit shaky, then they can be able to speculate into the market and they can destabilize our prices here in this country. But there are also some issues that we need to think about, and I'm glad the PS is here. In serious investment in climate financing is still a problem. And if we don't invest in climate financing, as you saw, just breakdown of Katonga brought this country to its knees. And that's climate change. But as we talk now, Western Uganda is, is being hit by the drought. And the consequence of that, of course, food shortage and, and the skyrocketing of food prices. The theme of the budget of financial year 2023-2024 is full monetization of the Ugandan economy through commercial agriculture, industrialization, expanding and broadening services, digital transformation, and market access. The Finance Minister of State for General Duties, Henry Musasizi, highlighted government budgetary targets for 2023-2024, fronting the implementation of Parish Development Model to bring people in the money economy. In terms of financing strategies, we shall implement the Parish Development Model and the MIOGA initiatives to boost household incomes as well as develop micro-enterprises. And we shall also enhance revenue collection, rationalization of public expenditure, and ensuring long-term debt sustainability. The theme for, uh, for this year is building economic resiliency for economic growth, and we look at the opportunities therein, the options and strategies for, uh, for kick-starting our economy and building a resilient economy where everybody is not uh, left behind. We are talking about and we're emphasizing inclusive economic growth so that everybody uh, uh, benefited, benefits. Uh, the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Ramadan Gobi, defended the decision to prioritize funding for security in 2023-2024 national budget following the attack on Lubidia Secondary School in Kasese District by ADF that claimed 40 lives. In Uganda, we have a history. In Uganda, we have a geography. We are, you know, located in a hotbed of insecurity. Hardly a few days ago, you saw what happened to our children. So when you say, no, cut security budget and put the money, build more schools, you need to balance, to balance these two. And we are doing exactly that. This follows a concern raised by some lawmakers who keep wondering why the security budget has remained unchanged, yet the 16 trillion funds to procure classified security equipment has been retired. Bedson Mumbere Smart, 24 TV, Business Today.